So for this task, I'm gonna go ahead and start up two different space heaters. Then that's just to get the combination of power output I want, which is right at about 2,500 watts, which is around 21 amps on a 120 volt circuit. Then after five minutes, I use the FLIR thermal imaging camera. You can see our maximum temperature that we're reading out is about 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. If you had a pillow, blanket, or something covering this, that can also make it heat up because then it's gonna insulate it and it's gonna reduce the amount of heat rejection that the cord gets to its environment. And then continuing on with our intervals here at 15 minutes, you can see we reached the high 160s up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit for our hot spots. At this point, the cord is definitely hot to the touch. You are not gonna be hanging onto the cord. Now I did run a couple more intervals at 20 and 25 minutes, but you can see in this graph right here, we reached a steady state. Now that was kind of equilibrium point where the heat created from the high load from the two different space heaters equal the amount of heat rejection we are getting to our overall environment. But knowing just in this scenario, nothing insulating it, a brand new cord, we're already reaching 170. This goes to show why you never want to use 16 gauge extension cords for any sort of heavy load applications. 